Hello and welcome to Essential Training for CSS. My name is Emily Kay and I will be your instructor for the duration of this course. I am very excited to be teaching this course because I have such a love for web design and especially for CSS. It is really made the designer able to control their layout on web page so much more efficiently and effectively. Um, so I've really enjoyed using that. I am a professional web developer as well as a longtime instructor for the San Diego Community College District and I have lots of knowledge to share with you. I have been working with pure CSS layouts for the last couple of years and I'm very attached to using and utilizing CSS. Um, so hopefully I will go ahead and pass on some of my knowledge and love of this particular um, tool that you can use for your designs to you. Let me just talk a little bit about this course and who it's intended for. Basically, um, this course could really reach out to a couple of different people. If you are already working with CSS, no problem. I'm sure you'll be able to glean a lot more information. Um, most of the things that you'll probably be interested in are going to appear in some of the subsequent movies. Um, but you certainly will be able to pick up new techniques and refine your skills. If you are a novice and just getting started with CSS, or perhaps you're someone who have dabbled with CSS but would like to establish a more solid grounding in CSS, then this course is certainly for you as well. The course basically starts out with beginner level and then we'll move on to more intermediate skills and techniques. We will be building upon everything we learn, so everything we learn in the beginning will be things that I will assume that you have knowledge of and understand in subsequent movies. Um, it's The course is basically st structured to begin with bare bones basic and then take you to a more intermediate advanced type of skill level. We'll be doing things that require more involvement and more advanced use of cascading style sheets later on in the course. What you do need for this course, the only real prerequisite that you need, is you need to have at least a basic working knowledge of HTML and or XHTML. A lot of working with CSS deals with redefining existing HTML tags, so you'll need to know one tag from another in order to be able to successfully write CSS. If you don't have any knowledge of kind of backend web page HTML, XHTML, you are going to have a bit of a, a hard time with the course. And it's not to say that you can't learn HTML, because HTML and um, XHTML are very friendly languages and they're very easy to learn. There are tons of resources available to you for free on the web. We, uh, I will point some of these out to you in a later movie and um, hopefully you'll be able to get quite a bit um, from this. Some of the topics that we're going to cover are of course understanding the structure of CSS rules. We're going to learn how CSS and XHTML work together. We're going to understand using selectors efficiently. We will be working with inheritance and specificity. We'll be setting fonts, colors, backgrounds, all that good stuff. We'll be using floats for page layout. We'll also be dealing with form elements. We'll be styling tables. We'll be using style sheets for other um, media as well, you know, not just standard web page design. We're also going to be using um, CSS for styling pages for print and for mobile devices. So there's just a ton that you can do with CSS. It is such an exciting language and it's just, you know, just gets better and better. So anyways, um, I'm excited that you're joining me for this course. We will be working on kind of more real world type examples. So we will be building web pages and projects using CSS as we go through the course. And hopefully you'll be able to establish your core competencies and build from there. I hope you get a lot out of the movie and I look forward to teaching you in the next movies. All right, I'll see you then.